Hi guys and welcome to my channel once again guys. Today we are going to install Android on an iPhone. So before I move to Linux and show you all the steps, please first of all make sure that your device is jailbroken. Okay. Secondly, open Cydia. And you must install open SSH. Okay. Install this guy. It is a small piece of software. Return to Syria. Okay. Now this uh, is installed. It is free. And you don't have to add any repo now when I will ask you to get your Wi-Fi address or, or IP address you will need to head to settings Wi-Fi press this I button next to your Wi-Fi SSID and you will need this IP address that says IP address it is uh, for me it is 192.0 168.8.92 and please make sure that you are connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your iPhone and your computer okay so after doing this let's begin our Android journey let's head to Linux so guys we are at Linux so First of all, you have to install Checkrain on Linux. I have the link in the description so you can use it. You can use my automatic script that is checkrain.sh to install Checkrain automatically and you and you won't need to enter any command or all that. It will do it all for you. So see the link in the description. Okay, I assume that you have installed Checkrain now now let's begin installing android onto iphone keep your iphone connected okay and i have made this file for you so you can see it and you learn from it it is really easy first of all you have to clone project sandcastle this folder so let's run this command it is git Space clone and the URL. Let's clone it first of all. If it gives you an error, please uh, install git using this command sudo space apt space install space git. Okay, install git. After that, use this command. The process completes uh, you will see this folder right here just minimize this terminal and go to this folder and you will see loader okay now open a new terminal here okay after opening it just copy and paste this command compile okay it is GCC space and all this command copy and paste it here okay it is uh, done so after that make it executable if you get an error you have to install libusb using this command and you have to install gcc using this command i will attach this file in the uh, description so that it is easy for you after after all uh, this process you have to give permission to load Linux copy make it executable okay and enter it's done now uh, after you have done all this process just minimize it do not close anything okay just minimize it and now you have to go to sandcastle.org 
and uh, scroll down get the beta and you have to download the android build after you have downloaded it you will get this file this folder actually okay this folder android sandcastle dart zip extract it okay okay uh, when you have extracted it just open it copy all these files copy and paste all these files in loader folder okay i hope you are following me just paste them all right when you have copied all the contents okay to make sure that you are in the right directory just open a new terminal in the loader folder all right now just copy this command and paste it right here okay guys uh, you have to modify this ip address uh, you can get the ip address from the your your wi-fi preference to know how you do it you have to watch the first portion of this video so you can just get the IP address and you have to paste it here mine is 8.92 press enter say yes it will ask for the password the password is alpine now the i setup is copied to your uh, iphone okay and it is copied to slash temp tmp after this process is complete now you have to open putty okay to install putty you can use this command sudo space apt space install space putty i have already installed putty so just open putty ssh client okay uh, now using the same ip ssh onto your iphone open and it will ask you to login login as root password is alpine all right we are in root now as the instructions instruct you cd into slash tmp okay we are inside now you have to give permissions to i setup that you have copied earlier okay type c h mode 755 i setup okay permission granted now you have to run uh, i setup okay that you have uh, given permissions to dot slash i set up keep your iphone connected all right so it will now download android image or android nand and and guys it will take some time so be, please be patient i will pause the video here and uh, i will see you when it is complete okay okay guys uh, when it is complete you will see that it says decompressing nand image and it will finish and it will return to the tmp folder okay after that don't close anything okay just open a new terminal on your desktop you can open it on your desktop and please uh, for this step make sure that uh, um, check run is, is installed 
use the latest version or at least 0.9.8.1 okay um, when you get here just type sudo space check rain hyphen cp before I press enter I will be showing you my iPhone okay let's go I hope guys you can see it clearly before you press enter on this command get your iPhone into DFU mode so let me get it iPhone is in DFU mode now. I'll press enter and type the password. My phone is, will now boot into Pango OS. It, it will stay there like so okay now you have to keep it right right there and uh, you have to copy this command it uh, this command will load uh, android onto your iphone and i'll show you how just copy this command first okay copy and paste it in the loaders directory okay project sandcastle slash loader paste it here okay now i'll show you my iphone that it really boots up press enter it will ask for the password again And now it will load Android. You'll see this uh, verbose boot coming up. I hope I have, can focus. So here we go. We have Android running on our iPhone. Congratulations, we are in <laughs> finally. So, all done using Linux. It is very easy. Just you have to follow all the commands. So, let's get in. So, yes, this is Android. You can see. This is working fine. about phone android version and it is android 10 as you can see oh, <coughs> home button won't work so here is it yes you can dual boot So you can see it for yourself okay now i will show you that you can just restart the phone and get back into ios i don't know if you can install apks i, I have not tested it so so let's restart and get back into ios Press and hold power and just restart.
ओके वी आर बैक इन टू आई ओ एस अगेन ओके वर्किंग जस्ट फाइन विदाउट लूजिंग एनी डाटा तो गाइज इफ यू वॉन्ट टू आस्क एनी क्वेश्चन जस्ट मैसेज मी इन द कमेंट्स एंड आई विल आंसर यू आई होप यू लाइक दिस टूटोरियल and like this video this video and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't so see you again in another video guys thank you for watching